Hello, and welcome to Andrew Broussard Watercolors. Today, I wanted to start a series looking at hake brushes for beginners. So, I laid out a few that I have, and I'll kind of talk through them. So here is the one that I use in pretty much every video. This is the Ron Ranson Hake Brush. I've had it for over three years now. It is very stiff, well-worn, and frazzled. About a year ago, I opened up a, another medium Ron Ranson hate brush, and you could see that it is the exact same size, so it's the medium. Um, it's produced by the Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. I think it's Pro Art that makes it, and then they tag that name onto it. So you can see the difference from the usage right there. In the past, we've explored how to pre-wear them. Um, in fact, two of these might have been explored with that process, but I haven't really pushed that hard with it, so that might be something we'll look into. This is a kind of a buy it, try it. Um, who, who was it? Uh, Jerry's Artorama. It's about $2. I've used this whenever I'm just washing in some ink at the beginning. This ink is just hard to wash out of the bristles in general. And this has kind of just been just dabbing and experimenting. This guy, this Princeton brush, either it was bought off of Blick or um, Jerry's Artorama as well. I've been using it whenever I apply a, a mixture for my alternative processes. If I'm applying a sizing, a mixture of arrowroot starch and boiling water so that I could then put my chemicals on top of that. I've used this brush for that. Okay, here is a small Ron Ranson Hake brush. When I was painting a lot of, what was it, about five by sevens when I first started uh, painting. I got it around the same time as this medium brush. And you can see that they're both pretty well worn. So that's the smaller one. And this large one I had used a little bit of but I mainly just use it at the beginning of every painting to apply water. So that's my current hake brushes and what I've used them for, and I think in previous videos what we explored them with. Um, in fact, I'll show it you in a moment, but I picked these ones up from Hobby Lobby today. They were half off, and I picked them up because a gentleman had requested a video of this sort, of this series, to look at hake brushes. So, what, um, 550, uh, 225, and $1.50 is how much I had spent on those. And we'll explore those in future videos. Looking on the side in my oil brush set, I noticed that I have the same brand of Hake, but I use this in oils in the style of Stuart Davies where if I put down oil thick, I'll then go very softly and spread that oil out and kind of uh, soften the effects. So that's some alternative uses for that. That being said, these guys are all very soft um, and we're gonna jump into a video of now painting with it. So I'm going to stop this and I'll go into part two.